Special deal on repairs today, Marwella. If you'll have dinner with me on Friday. Well, you drive a hard bargain, Fred. But um, I accept your offer. About seven. I'll be ready. Great. Hey, this one doesn't look so happy. Well, that happened overnight. I don't know what's wrong. Ouch. Ooh. Are there thorns on that thing? No. That's a new plant that just was sent to me from Kolake. That's a, a newly formed volcanic island just south of Micronesia. And none of the species has thorns. <gasps> oh, that looks terrible. Oh, you should see a doctor right away. Ah, just a pinprick. I'll take care of it when I get back to the shop. Are you sure you're all right? Never felt better in my life. I have a date with the prettiest girl in town. That looks like synergistic just a gangrene. Does this man diabetic? Uh, there was no medical alert on him. It's burning up. Get some ice, huh? How is he, doctor? It's undetermined, but you can't be in this area. But take this to the Okay. One of my plants caused it. Plant? I, I gotta talk to you about that later. But you have to wait outside. IV staff, D5LR, wide open, four unit standard blood, type and cross match. You a doctor? Yes. You called for one, didn't you? Yeah. I'm sorry. Look, my partner, I want to please stay down. He got caught with the 357 being close. We'll take care. Jim! Jim! Everything's going to be fine. Just take it easy, huh? Take it easy. Take it easy. Oh. 
I can tell you right now, though, he's going to need surgery. And I need some information on your partner. Okay, sure. Uh, I hope you anywhere I can. Jim? Call Jeannie for me. You just hang in there, Mr. Rule. I'll take care of everything. Don't you worry, okay? I'll give you some medication. You'll be in surgery soon. Okay, Doc. Ah! Examine it. From its appearance, I'd, I'd say it was some sort of parasite, but I've never known of any to cause such rapid infection. Delta 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 you don't appear to be in any danger, though. You can get dressed now, Detective Bishop. So, uh, who gets to examine you? It won't be a police detective. Yes. So, you say you were in a shootout? Hill Valley seems an unlikely place for that. We were working the east side of Williamsburg. But they were tipped off, so. Two hours and a car chase later, we got caught in a crossfire here. I never would have known this place was a hospital. We try to keep up on all the modern conveniences here. It's not often that we get a gunshot victim at the county memorial, though. They'll be talking about this day for a long time. Is he gonna make it? He's got our best surgeons working on him. We may look a little old-fashioned from the outside, but inside we're pretty up-to-date. Well... Could have fooled me. Used to be an insane asylum. That's ancient history. How'd you like to take a look at the future? Come on. Our new laser research lab. installed the Exxon laser. In a couple of days, we'll have the ND YAG operational. We'll be involved in molecular breakdown experiments for DNA and RN and... Oh, great. Come on, I want you to take a look at this. Bugs to iron out. <laughs> <laughs> Check in at the desk. 
Is that a real gun? You bet. Can I see it? Not right now, son. Are you a private eye like Magnum? No, I'm a uh, detective, kind of like Kojak. Who? For your time, kid. Why are you in the hospital? My partner's been shot. What are you in for? Leukemia. Are you kids out again? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You better run. If I catch you out in the halls again... A little, uh, tough on them, weren't you? <laughs> There's no telling what they'd get into if I wasn't. Last week, I found them crawling through an air duct. Even that little guy with leukemia? He's their leader. Bravest kid I ever met. Parents pretty much dumped him here, so uh, we're his family now. It's tough on a kid. Yeah. If you'll excuse me, uh, I have to meet with Dr. Glass at the lab. I'll get back to you later, Detective. Do you think they might have some information on Oscar now? Possibly his test results. I'll come up with you. Dr. Harrison. Dr. Harrison. You'll be all right now. Just rest. I'll be back later. Do you have any news of Fred? I'm going to go see him now. Marla! One of the nurses told me that you were in here. Answer me! If you just shut your mouth for a minute, Dee Dee, I will. Oh, I'll be damned. How are you? I've been better. Dee Dee. You just came in through an emergency exit. This is an isolation area, Dee Dee. You are not supposed to be here. Isolation area. I must have missed the sign. <laughs> Marwella has been exposed to an infection that we're afraid might be contagious, Dee Dee. You think I'm in here for a facelift? Listen, if Marwella's in isolation, she's gonna need company. Strict rules are in effect. Until we are sure that Marwella is not contagious. Marwella, some doctors have no imagination. They don't know Ms. that Wilkins, good company heals. I will be back. So this wine exterior is really just a shell. There's actually something else inside. Incredible. It's totally opaque. I don't understand why the insides don't photograph. Do we have the results of the blood test yet? Yes, I do. It's a radical increase in the patient's calcium level. Nothing seems to be adding up. Judith, what the hell's going on here? We're not exactly sure, Roger. Not sure? At this time, the hospital can't afford to be not sure. Well, there's a uh, differential diagnosis a mile off. Anywhere from infectious bacteria to viruses to a parasite. I think we should alert the LIDC. The LIDC? <coughs> Is that really necessary? The LIDC? Lincoln Institute for Disease Control in New York. Well, don't you think we're overreacting? I mean, <laughs> an old man develops a high fever from an insect bite. Seems a little drastic to bring them into it. Huh? Roger. What you're really saying is, you don't want any negative publicity, right? Not with a new laser wing opening in a week. I resent that, Judith. The safety and care of our patients has and always will be the first concern of our county memorial hospital. Good. Then we'll contact the Institute immediately. Alice, would you gather all your important data and uh, get it over to the clinic immediately, please? All right. When I still want this matter cleaned up as quickly and as quietly as possible. Who are you? James Bishop, detective. 
3rd Precinct, Williamsburg. Oh, that's right. They told me all about you. So this is the little sucker, huh? Came out of a patient's mouth 35 minutes ago. Incredible. Since the x-rays won't tell us what's inside, I guess uh, we'll have to find out for ourselves. who brought in that old man, he's come down with the same symptoms. I'll see you in my office in half an hour. Uh, he can come, but he doesn't have a car. Tony, could you go pick up Dr. Jacobs for me immediately? Right away. Well, everything is off to the LIDC. Great. Not let that thing out of your sight. kids up to? You're not supposed to be out here, are you? No, sir. You won't tell Dr. Carson, will you? We didn't do anything bad. Well, I don't know. He disobeyed orders. I mean, you just have to put you all under arrest. Arrest? Can he do that? I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Me neither. Come on. Hey, wait for me, Jimmy. Maintenance on 2N, please. Maintenance on 2N. Maintenance. Anything new on uh, Oscar Willett? One moment, please. Willett, Oscar. In surgery for Boatland 45 minutes ago. Yeah, I know that. Uh, but how's he doing? Too early, sorry. If you'd like to take a seat in the waiting room, I'll give you a call when I hear something. I know what I'm doing. Now, every step of your pregnancy has been properly charted out. Now is the time. Uh, good afternoon. We're the Bakers, George and Sandra. Hello. Um, I phoned earlier. We're going to have a baby. Congratulations. Thank you. When did the labor pains start? Uh, they haven't yet. Then why did you come in? Uh, ask Mr. Database. Database. Uh, using all of the most recent scientific and medical information on the subject, see, I've been able to chart out all the significant developments of Sandra's pregnancy from the day of conception up until, oh, exactly 18 minutes ago when we uh, left for the hospital. The time is now. That's very admirable, Mr. Baker. But did anyone tell the baby that it's time for an appearance? There's no need for sarcasm. I'm sorry. Why don't we let your doctor examine Mrs. Baker, just to be certain? Oh, all right. Dr. Matthew Steinberg. I'll let him know you're here. 
Honey, you should be resting. Come on. George, I'm fine, yes. really. No, you should rest I'm because fine. you're not fine. You're in the throes of having that child right now. She's there. No, uh, just take it easy. Mr. Baker, Dr. Steinberg will see your wife in 15 minutes. You can wait in room 415. Oh, good. Uh, I'm, uh, no, no, sit down. Sit down. You wait here. Relax. I'm going to see if they have all the necessary equipment for the delivery, all right? See if it's available. George, this is a hospital. Yeah. Good, good. Neonatal Symposium, 8.37 at 1.30. Is he always like this? Should have seen him on our honeymoon. <laughs> Paramedics temperature is leveled at 102. Pulse at 140. Not nearly as bad as poor old Fred here. His bones are dissolving and flooding his circulatory system. I wish some of this made sense. Well, at least Marwell and the paramedic are uh, stabilizing or something, I guess. Recommends this. <gasps> Dee Dee! Do they know you have that? Of course not. But if anyone needed a shot of this, you can't. Oh, no, no, no. I, uh, Here. Uh, oh, Dee Dee. Oh. Uh, Here's to a speedy recovery. I don't think this will help. Oh, listen. At our age, it can't hurt either. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ted. Oh, everybody's yeah. nerves are on edge tonight. Yeah, well, yours would be, too, if you had to babysit that thing. Oh. So this is what the whole hospital's talking about, eh? Oh, it's adorable. Hey, what do you say we sneak out for a quick smoke and calm those nerves of yours? Oh, I'm not supposed to leave Jiminy Cricket alone. Come on, we'll just take five. Well, I guess I could use a break. Hey, stay out of trouble till we get back, okay, Jiminy? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> gotten a lot worse than we originally expected. One of the paramedics that brought you in, he's come down with it now. Do they know what it is yet? Unfortunately, no. How do you feel? Just the same, I think. <laughs> Your fever is still high. But it's not as high as it was when I checked it before. Are you going to need anything? Sedative or anything? No, thank you, Dr. Best. I'm all right. I'm sorry, Marwell. <laughs>
thought she never Poor Fred. <laughs> staff are refusing to go near them. This is the sample from County Memorial. Sir, it is. I've never seen any strain of bacteria with a configuration like this. It's extraordinarily complex. Arthur, I've just seen the county memorial sample. You're not going to believe this, but four more patients have been stricken. All within 40 minutes of exposure. We need to initiate a class four there immediately. That's impossible. Of course it is. So you call the health department. And we better take the necessary precautions at the point of origin also. I'll keep you posted. Wow. This is great. Hey, remember, we've got to be careful. If anyone finds us in here, especially that car, don't be such a wimp, Tyrone. Wow, this place looks like fun. But we're going to get into trouble. Oh, shut up, Helen. Uh, Tony Rivers from County Memorial. Good. Rachel Carson sent me to get you. I'm sorry. I forgot. Come on in, please. Okay. I just have to finish one thing and I'll be right with you. Working on a shipment of caterpillars for the university when Rachel called. <laughs> <laughs> please, come on in. Have a seat uh, somewhere. Yeah. 
Nice uh, place you got here. Thanks very much. Uh, have to keep these little fellows in a cool place here. I'll climb out of the box and I'll find them in my cereal. <laughs> oh, boy. Running out of room. collecting a whole lot of earthworms for an elementary school. <laughs> ah, the, oh, my goodness, I'm sorry. Uh, would you like something to drink? Uh, maybe some, uh, oh, uh, fresh lemonade, perhaps? Uh, no thanks. Uh, we really must be going. Oh, oh, sure. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, <clears throat> well look, uh, why don't you tell me... Uh, I was wondering where those were. Why don't you tell me everything you know so far? Rachel said something about a worm. in town tonight? I don't know. Must be something big, though. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> My favorite kind of car! <laughs> Beetle? Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a pretty color. <laughs> guess you'd have to order something like this far in advance, wouldn't you? You couldn't just go into a lot and get an orange one, I guess. I wanted to get a blue one once. Had we been gone over 30 minutes? <laughs> I don't remember turning out these lights. Did you stop worrying? If anybody says anything you were helping me, it was an emergency case. <laughs> I just gotta go and lock the door, okay? Throw away the key. <laughs> I should certainly mm. hope so. <laughs> Just me doing a bit of heavy breathing, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the exact time of delivery. I don't understand it. I couldn't have made an error. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh George. That's it. I forgot to allow for daylight savings time. Oh, cut the crap, George, and get the doctor. Right, sorry. Oh. Relax, honey. Just, I'll be right. Stay there. Stay there. Dr. Steinberg! Dr. Steinberg! Hi. Thanks for coming. Oh, sure. Considering how you went the trouble of finding a new species for me. Huh. <laughs> I wish it could have been under better circumstances. Ah. Tony, we need you to get a cutting from the plant that infected Mr. Adams. It's at the greenhouse. Be careful, okay? I'm halfway there. Good. Elliot, it is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I just don't understand it. Detective Bishop, your partner's still in surgery. I'm afraid there are complications. How serious? I don't know, sir. That's all I could find out. Ship! I've never seen anything like it in my life. Doctor, my partner's in trouble. Can you help me find out about him? I'll do what I can. Uh, Detective Bishop, this is Dr. Jacobs. Hey, you. I have to take Dr. Jacobs to G-Lab right away, and then we'll check into Oscar. Do you want to drop that off at my office first? Oh, yes, please, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want? I'll remember that.
appears your uh, insect has gone through some kind of a metamorphosis. Don't tell me that little thing made this mess. What is this? Nucleic acid clarifier. It's a genetic growth promoter. It stimulates the operin gene, which in turn accelerates hormone activity. Dr. Helmut Kittering's findings on the DNA factor in accelerated growth uses NAC5 as the catalyst. I think we better all stop talking. Let's start looking for that thing right now. Time for a power failure. The auxiliary generator should go on any moment now. If the power goes again, this guy's headed. Somebody get a portable generator. Now what's going on? Yeah, I know they're out, yeah. Okay, right away, yeah. yeah. Chief County Memorial, what's going on here? We've been ordered to spray the place and then burn it. The health department seems to think there's some weird new bacteria in there. Look, I got an emergency. I've got to get a plant from out of the greenhouse. County Memorial? Yeah. They just put that under full quarantine. Yeah, that's impossible. I was just there. Maybe so. But from what I've been told, there's nothing getting in or out of that place. Or that greenhouse. I gotta get back. I'm sorry, Dr. Glass, but we can't expose ourselves to the infection any longer. It would be suicide. I understand, Jackie. I don't like it, but I understand. Refuses to go in the isolation ward. You're not going in there. Oh no, who else is? But you mustn't, you can't. What if you became. Judith, please. Roger, what choice do I have, huh? Mr. Levering, you've got to come with me right away. How does it know? You've got to come, sir.
Town Memorial. What are you doing here? Mr. Levering, uh, Edward Clements, Department of Public Health. Uh, please, stay right where you are, sir. Well, what are you doing here? Sir, the Lincoln Institute of Disease Control has alerted us that County Memorial has been exposed to a highly dangerous and extremely contagious bacteria, unlike anything we've ever encountered. Now, until we can find the strain and, and formulate a plan to combat it, this entire hospital is under complete quarantine. A class four is in effect. This is our authorization from the governor. Nobody goes in or out. Look, they're expecting some vital information from me. Well, you have to phone it in, pal. scale right if I don't maintain it. I've never seen so many guns. Where are we going to bring in a tank? What do you think's going on? Something big. I want to find out. Oh, 
these places make an ideal environment for it. Could be anywhere. It must be extraordinary. No, George, it hurts like hell. Oh.
having both male and female sexual organs. An ingenious method of survival. It's able to protect the female creature until it's ready. Ready for what? Reproduction of the species. <gasps> Great. Isn't it? All insects are so superior to man in many aspects. Judging from the size of the, the abdomen, the female creature should start laying eggs within the hour. How many? Oh, the only species which even vaguely resembles this insect is capable of reproducing five to six hundred eggs. At one time. Amazing, isn't it? Shit. We could be dealing with five hundred of these things. At a minimum. I couldn't see him. Come on, we gotta go find him. Of 
tunnels and rooms where they used to keep the more dangerous patients locked up. They've been closed off for years. Uh, they won't go far. She's in no condition to move. They'll settle for the first dry, warm area they find. Let's get the hell out of here and get some help. Come on. Yes. This is the most efficient insect I've ever seen in my Just life. Come, this is fascinating. I've got everything here on tape. I can't believe it. I wonder if we'll find anything down here. I bet we're going to find a big blue monkey. What's in there? Nothing much. It's pretty dark in there. Think we should go back? I have to go to the bathroom. Me too. Okay. We'll go back. Oh, you guys are a bunch of wimps. Well, I'm not a wimp. Me neither. I am. We have been unable to identify or control the bacteria and have put a class four code in effect. What's a class four? It's highly classified, used only in extreme circumstances. Washington feels there is the potential for a global disaster unless the infection is contained. Evacuation is out of the question. One man has already been shot, attempting to leave. We're on home. How long before those eggs hatch? Well, the eggs will be full grown and reproducing within days. The potential for a fertile pair of insects could theoretically reach 100 million in a year. We have to kill a female and destroy the eggs. What about the male? Oh, it's not that simple. Insects aren't like humans or animals. They're 80% liquids and muscles. They have very few organs. You could cut off a leg, even destroy the brain, and they'll just grow a new one back. Their sense of smell is so strong, they can detect something miles away. That thing's outer shell is like armor plating. So conventional weapons are useless against it. But the fact that the male protected the female during its metamorphosis indicates that she's very vulnerable. What's the best way to do it? Well, an incendiary attack would be the most practical. Do you have any butane tanks in this hospital? This building's over a hundred years old. You start a fire in here, the whole place could go up in minutes. It's out of the question. I don't really think we have a choice. When those eggs hatch, you're gonna have a lot of hungry larvae. They're mineral devourers. The male paralyzes the victim by stinging. Like a spider. The female deposits the eggs in a manner that the hatch larva can feed on the food until its metamorphosis is complete. The victim would be alive for several days. It'd be an extremely painful death. There are some butane tanks in storage. Okay, that's a start. Now I just have to find a way to uh, lure the male away from the female. Couldn't get into the morgue. We could lure it in there. Then render it unconscious by leaking SL-15 into the room. That way we could keep it alive and steady it at the same time. God, we got a killer loose. He wants to study it. You don't understand, Detective. It may have the only available antidote. You kill it, and we may not be able to stop that disease from spreading. Is that true? Well, with certain infections, such as rabies, the host or the carrier is the only source of the vaccine. Until we know more about this, Anything is possible. We can't take any chances. Okay, look, we don't have much time. We've got to move fast. You two approach the tunnels from the area where we first saw them. I'll make my move from uh, another direction. Um, what, uh, what other entrances are there? 
Well, those tunnels haven't been used in years. I don't think there's anyone who knows where they I think I know someone who might. I've just been ordered to destroy this place in two hours if I don't hear from Washington. God help her. Sure, I can take you down there, no problem. I know that, Joey, but can you tell us how to get there on our own? I can't tell you, I can just show you. Joey, just think, okay? How do you and your friends do it? I mean, uh, do you have a special passageway, some kind of special? I don't know. We just do it. But I can show you. Sure you can lure it into the morgue? Uh, that's my problem. You just take care of the female. Joey. You sure that you can do this? Yes, sir. You need my help. Okay. Now, Joey, you remembered to take your medicine like you were supposed to, didn't you? Yes, ma'am. And you will do exactly what Detective Bishop tells you. You bet. Good boy. Since we probably won't be able to see each other, we'll uh, make a move in 15 minutes. Agreed. Let's go, Joey. Lead the way. Yes, sir. to get yourself shit faced. <laughs> hey, that's a dream. <laughs> Go to bed, Marwella, please. No, no, I feel fine. You're the one that's dead tired and needs to get some rest. Rest. Is there something wrong? How come you're so damn healthy when everybody else is half dead? I don't know. I have the foggiest day, dear. <laughs> Excuse me. You're doing wonderfully, honey. Just wonderfully. Oh, you... George, I'm not having any fun. No, you're not. But I want to get a picture of it, all right? We have shots of you having fun. This will be of you not having any fun. And it'll be priceless. Uh, uh, I want this over with. What? That's a good sign, Mr. Baker. A good sign. Oh, you're gonna fool me. Mm. You drank this, didn't you? Just about half. Dee Dee likes company. Alcohol. Stop the toxins from spreading through your body. Come on.
check this fish yet. The insect will have an acute sense of smell. Probably know we're coming. You're not wearing perfume, are you? <gasps> it's okay, Joey. You did good. That kind of leads to a place with lots of rooms. Okay. Now, Joey, I want you to go back. But you need my help. You're right. I do need your help. I need you to do something very important. I need you to go back to the hospital and keep an eye on Oscar. Can you can you do that for me? Yes, sir. Okay, then. Go on. Go on. Rachel, you never told me. What was this place years ago? State insane asylum. It's built just after the Civil War. Can you imagine? They used to keep most of the patients locked up here for life. Cages just like that. Starting to hatch all 
God, you're still alive. If we could get it in there, the 
walls are three feet thick. Let's do it. We gotta try something.
Now, if I calculate correctly, she should be crawling in approximately 27 weeks and three days. No matter what, baby, don't take after your father. Maruella, you're famous. Your cure was a complete success. Oh, thank you. You know, I hadn't had a drink in over 20 years. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. oh Doc, we got to find a cure for the hangover. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh Maruella. Jim. Thanks. You promised to take good care of him. Hmm? Dr. Miller. Yes. Dr. Miller, apology. Going back to work. Will I ever see you again? What do you mean, will you ever see me again? You bet on it. I'm your new best friend, aren't I? Best friends spend a lot of time together, don't they? You got my word on it. Okay? My paper on this experience is going to make me a legend in my field. <laughs> Just make sure you uh, spell my name right. Okay. All right. I want a footnote. All right, you got one. Bye bye. Oh. See ya. Take care. We'll see you then. Where to? I'd like to go home, please. How would you like to have a nice, quiet breakfast somewhere soon? I'd like that. Good. I'll make a uh, incredible Western omelet. Soon? You bet. <laughs> 